Hello everybody, today I'm going to give you five hip opening exercises that will leave your body feeling so rejuvenated and so ready for your day. Let's get straight into it. The first one is a hip flexor stretch. We're going to bring that left foot in front of you and you are just leaning in towards that left foot. But as you're doing so, I want you to engage that right glute so that you can keep that pelvis in place and you can feel a stretch into that hip flex and you're just leaning forward and opening, leaning and allowing that pelvis to stretch out. That's one. We're going to do five on each leg. That's two. And three. And on the last one, we're going to hold for 10 seconds, extending and holding for 10. Let's reach those arms up towards the sky. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One slowly back, let's bring those arms towards the floor and we're extending that left foot out towards the side and we are rotating that tailbone towards the wall behind us and we are leaning back towards our heel and as we're doing so we're pushing that groin into the ground and we are going to do again five of these with a 10 second hold and as you lean back you're emphasizing that rotation of that tailbone towards the wall behind you and that's three. And you can do a brief or light little tuck in as you lean forward. And four. And last one. We're going to hold in that position for 10 counts. Nine, eight. And we're reaching forward with our arms as we're working. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly coming back up, bending that leg, lifting that right leg in front of you to do that same sequence. Inhaling, exhale, leaning forward. Remember to engage that opposite glute just to make sure that you can get that stretch that we are looking for in that front part of that hip flexor. That's three. And extend core tight as we lean forward so that we don't just flop into that lower back. You want that stretch into that right hip flexor. And back to center, last one, leaning forward as we bring our arms up towards the sky and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back up, bringing arms towards the floor, extending that right foot out towards the side arms are in that all fours position and we are slowly leaning back and rotating that tailbone out as we lean back and slight tuck in as we lean forward that's one pushing that groin into the ground and two keep going and three and remember on that fifth one we've got two more we are going to hold for 10 counts and last one holding for 10 counts as we push our arms forward away from that body and five four three two one and slowly coming back up i want you to butterfly your legs you're opening your knees away as far away from each other as you can and you are bringing those bottom of your feet in contact with one another and you are leaning back into those hips and slowly forward and again we're opening those knees as we push that pelvis towards the floor that's two keep going we're going to do five of these again with a 10 second hold and as i always say listen to your body don't push past pain you just want to push past that light stretch it's just a slight discomfort and you just got to know your body's limits and every time you do it you'll find that flexibility improving let's lean back and holding and as we're holding we're just opening that right groin as we transfer our center of mass towards that left side and now towards the right side as we open that left groin and we're going to do three of these opens on each side let's transfer towards the left and last one and slowly back to center slowly walking our hands away from our body again and pushing forward five 
four, three, two, one, and slowly coming back up, bringing those knees towards one another. We're going to bend that right foot out in front of you. And if you do struggle with that flexibility, you can keep that foot bent into that groin and you can also bend that back leg. Otherwise, if you can, we're going to extend that back leg and bring that other knee to a 90 degree that's in front of you. And we're slowly going to reach forward as you bring that chest down and slowly back up. And this should open up and stretch out that glute region of your front foot. And we've got two more before we hold for 10 counts. And up and hold, pushing that pelvis into the ground, leaning your center of mass towards that right hand glute area. And just allowing that stretch to come right down that glute. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly coming back to that all fours position to bring that other leg in front of you to do that same thing. Again, remember those modifications if you do find that you struggle with the different angles and positions that I'm asking you to get into. Deep breath in and bring that chest towards the floor and back up. That's one, and two, and three, and four, and last one, we're going to stay on that up extended position, pushing that center of mass into that left glute, allowing that stretch, five, four, three, two, one and slowly bringing that leg back behind you and i want you to get into a deep frog squat position and the last one we're going to do we are drawing our elbows into our knees and we are pushing our knees away as we anchor our feet onto the ground and we're just going to slowly push our right elbow in towards our right knee as we lean towards the left. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're pushing our left elbow into our left knee as we lean towards the right. And again, it's just three of these on each side. And just transferring from side to side. And back to center. Now we're just opening both legs and we're bringing those heels towards the center as we point our toes outwards and putting our hands on the floor and just holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And slowly bringing those knees in and coming into rest position. And holding for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly coming back up. As we all know, there is such a variety of different exercises that you can do to open those hips. Please remember to listen to your body and go according to your own limitations and give yourself grace. The more you practice, the better you'll get, the better you'll feel. So keep up the good work and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can get more videos just like this one every week. See you soon.